And trust me, helping the poor in our midst has a lot of reward attached to it. I've forgotten the man who said that poor people exist in the world so that by helping them, rich people can make heaven. Poor people exist in the world so that by helping them, rich people can make heaven. I think this thing is so true. Remember the story of that rich man who met Jesus and asked him, Master, what must I do to inherit the kingdom of God? Jesus told him, go and sell everything you have. Give the money to the poor. By so doing, you create treasure for yourself in heaven. Then come and follow me. The man left in anger because he was a man of great wealth. But the point is this, that poor people exist so that by helping them, we make heaven. So there is a reward when we reach out to poor people. So much reward. And these poor people in question, because they are so dear to God, their cry reaches to heaven. And God is ever willing to hear their cry. Go and read Acts of the Apostles chapter 9. Remember that, remember that woman called Dorcas. All of a sudden, Dorcas died. And then all the poor widows that this woman had been helping while alive said, Lie, lie, Dorcas cannot die. They went after the apostles, brought Peter and other apostles. And when Peter came, those widows were showing Peter, Look at the garments Dorcas made for us. This woman doesn't deserve to die. And that was how Dorcas was raised from the dead. Helping the poor people has so much reward. Even in the secular world, even in the secular world, do you know in America and other Western nations, one can get tax relief because you donated to a charitable cause. Your donation to a charity cause can bring you tax relief. This is a way to encourage people to give to charitable cause. So if the world can reward such gesture, then what do you think about God? Go and read the Gospel of Matthew chapter 25 verse 35. On the last day, God looked at those at his right hand and said, Come and inherit the kingdom of my father. For I was hungry, you gave me to eat. I was naked, you clothed me. I was sick, you visited me. That is the only reason why they are being rewarded. So charity to the poor has its own reward. There was a time one American newspaper conducted a pool. They brought names of certain people and then called Americans to cast a vote. And then they told them to vote to know who among them would likely make heaven. The names included powerful rich people, presidents, professors in the university, just CEO of companies, president of nations, name them. And then people were told to vote. Who among these people would likely make heaven? People started voting. At the end of the day, the person that got the highest vote was the person the world least expected. And who was that person? Mother Teresa of Calcutta. She won the greatest percentage of all the votes cast. And what was this woman doing? This woman did not own any private jet, any big company. Her mission was simply to take care of the poor. She was regarded as sense of the gutters. Her sisters of charity are still in the world today going about that mission. 